So I'm back today with my Chicago Hawks organization. Of course, the rebrand at the Chicago Blackhawks because we want nothing to do with that team. And I'm going to try to win a Stanley Cup by spinning a wheel of jersey numbers. So I have every single jersey number in the NHL on this wheel. And I'm going to try to win a Stanley Cup by picking players that link to that jersey number. So we're starting with 79. I have absolutely no clue who wears the jersey number 79. But we're about to find out. So of course, I have to give a shout out to Hockey Reference because they make this video so easy. I just go to jersey number down to 79, find players. And this is who we have to work with. Not too many players, but we do have Keandre Miller. That's a decent pickup. Ross Colton, St. Louis Blues legend, Sammy Blay. But we also have Carter Hart. And Carter Hart's not a bad pick because I don't know how many opportunities I'm going to have at selecting goaltenders. Because you have to think goaltenders narrow the numbers down so much. So Carter Hart, you're going to be the first new player on the Chicago Hawks organization. Like the New York Rangers, I could have went with Miller. I really could have. He's an 85 overall. He would be a decent second pairing defenseman for us. We're going to see how well this take ages. I feel like it could work out for us, but who really knows? Moving on to our next spin, of course, anything's going to help this team, but ideally I want 97. We're going to get 35 and we're probably going to get another goaltender here, aren't we? The decision I made in selecting Carter Hart's already aged terribly. So what do we have for players with the jersey number 35? Probably some elite goaltender. We have so many goalies here. So who we got? Oh, yes. Linus Allmark, Samsonov, Vili Husto, Tristan Jari. I made such a bad choice, didn't I? Like, actually, the worst decision I could have possibly made. We're going with Allmark, so we already have our goaltending tandem in the first two spins. I mean, I shouldn't really be upset with that, but I low key am because, I mean, two spins, two goaltenders, the goaltending setup. We definitely didn't need Carter Hart then now that we have Linus Allmark. Like, a 90 overall and an 87 overall, I'm definitely not going to complain about that tandem. But I mean, I can work with those two guys in between the pipes. Now we just have to build a great team around him. And now we got the 24th overall pick. 24th overall pick? What am I talking about? The 24th jersey number? Jersey number 24? Yeah, that's how we're going to say it from now on. Jersey number 24. I'm bugging right now. What am I talking about? So who's got the jersey number 24? I can't really think of anyone off the bat. Probably some elite players here. Rupe Hints, Dylan Cousins, Philip Deneau, Capo Caco. Hey, you already know who I'm picking. I'm going with my guy Rupe Hints. So just comparing this to the draft class video I did the other day, this is going way better, like astronomically better. By rights, it should be going better though because there's not as many restrictions. 34, there's another goaltender that we can't pick up now. No, but as I was saying, there's not as nearly as many restrictions, so it should be easier for us to build a great team. Who are we gonna see here for goaltenders? Uh, we're gonna see Jake the Snake, Peter Mrazek. That's not awful because we're going to get Austin Matthews. Why did I not think of Austin Matthews immediately when I saw 34? I didn't even process that. I just saw a number in the 30s and I'm like, oh, that's a goaltender. But no, we got Austin Matthews. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I just made every single Toronto Maple Leafs fan mad. Like I just completely ignored Austin Matthews. Way she goes. You know what? There's no point staying mad for too long because I might actually be able to get Austin Matthews to stand the cup, something the Toronto Maple Leafs can't do. Now we got number one. I cannot think of anyone with the jersey number one. Also, to be fair, I didn't even think of Austin Matthews when I saw the jersey number 34, so I don't really know too much. Well, there's definitely some options here, nine of them to be exact, but they're all goaltenders, so we're gonna have to spin the wheel again. So with our next spin, we're gonna be selecting somebody with the jersey number 51. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be seeing too many studs here when it comes to the jersey number 51, and our best guy, I guess, is gonna be Troy Stetcher. Shane Wright down here but i mean he picked up two points in eight games last season because he didn't play for seattle so yeah i'm picking up troy stetcher shout out to matthew kessel though i remember when matthew kessel signed his deal to join our team but i did not know he played for us last season all right so our best defenseman now is 79 overall troy stetcher remember that time i could have gone 89 overall defenseman the good old days huh moving back down to the lower numbers we're getting jersey number five next also i want to mention if you see this i do support hockey reference by using their ads but for some reason my ad block even when it's turned off still blocks ads i'm sorry Sorry, hockey reference it's just the way it is i cannot control that aaron ekblad though not a bad pickup by any means no but real talk for the amount i use hockey reference i always keep their ads on just so i can support them by some means i use them for so many of my videos it's actually ridiculous so i don't know why the ads don't show i can't control that the ad blocker is off so now that i've rested my case about the ad blocker let's move on to our next spin and we're gonna be landing on the jersey number 94 normally when you have a jersey number in the 90s you're a good player so hopefully that logic ages well for us so that jersey number logic isn't really gonna work here but we do get a steal here barabanov i could go with you but ryan ellis i think you're still like an 85 overall in nhl 23 so i'll bring you to our defense if you're lower than that though i'm gonna go with barabanov yeah because for some reason i don't think ea really dropped his rating even though he was hurt the entire season so if i can get ryan ellis at a decent overall i'll definitely pick him up 86 yeah we're getting steals out here and no this is not cheating i'm bending the rules there's a difference so moving on to our next spin of course there's two jersey numbers i want it's 97 obviously and the other one's an 18 but i'll take 91 and i'm definitely not going to complain about that good old 
Cole, jersey number 91, of course. We already know who we're going with here. Steven Stamkos. Just kidding. Vladimir Tarasenko, St. Louis Blues legend. He has to be brought to the team. No, I'm kidding. Steven Stamkos. So 90 overall, Steven Stamkos. Welcome to the Chicago Hawks. You're the new captain of this team. You're taking that away from Austin Matthews or Aaron Ekblad. Somebody's the captain on this team. I have no clue who it is, but someone is. All right, so boom. We're spinning the wheel again. We're almost halfway through, and the team's actually looking incredible right now. We've got number 80. As I'm doing this, I realize I know absolutely no one's jersey number, but to be fair, my memory is also terrible. All right, Pierre-Luc Dubois, welcome to the Chicago Hawks. Not too many options here, but Pierre-Luc Dubois is still going to be a stud for us. So with this next spin, we're officially halfway through the video. What number are we going to be getting next? It's going to be the number 14. I actually am really bad with jersey numbers. I know I just said that, but 14. I cannot think of a single player that wears 14. And you got guys like Jamie Ben, Nick Suzuki, Joel Erickson Eck, Adam Henrique, Elias Lindholm. Like, I feel like I should know some of these. Bo Horvat's down here. Like, how do I not know these numbers? Oh, well, away she goes. Sean Couturier, too. Could be the move. So I'm on the fence right now between Bo Horvat and Matias Ekholm. I know Matias Ekholm's not as high of an overall, but he's also just a really good player. He would help our defense a lot. I'm taking all that back. Bo Horvat, 88 overall. I'm pretty sure we could get a better defense. Actually, I'm taking that back once again. Matias Ekholm, I need to make sure we have good defense on this team because we have Troy Stetcher, who's like a 79 overall. I know for a fact we'll be able to get some other good centers. So yeah. 86 overall Matisse at home. Welcome to the Chicago Hawks. So we're exactly at the halfway point and we got to start bringing a ton of center depth on the team. Not even center depth. Just bring a ton of forwards here. We got 48 next. We're in the jersey number 48. We got Tomas Hurl. So that's who I'm going to bring on to the team. But Scott Perunovic is also down here. Unfortunately, didn't play any games last season. Please get healthy. Like, bro, I'm not even kidding here. Get healthy. How many games have you played so far in your NHL career? 19. I feel like you should have played for us for three years now, but you just keep getting hurt season after season. I need a St. Louis miracle here. Scott Prunovich, I need you to play like 75 games this season. After giving that quick talk about Scott Prunovich, I could not remember who I was taking. We're going over to the San Jose Sharks and we got Tomas Hurdle. So let's keep on bringing these elite forwards onto the team. And now we're picking from the jersey number 58. 58's not really going to have any elite forward names. I mean, Michael Bunting's heater, Mason Shaw, I guess. But I'm going to go with Chris Letang because I think he's like an 88 overall, 89 overall. He'll be a good final piece to the defense. Or I guess second final piece because we still need one more after him. So the second last defenseman we're picking up, Chris Letang, 88 overall. That's a pretty solid pickup for us. We need one more defenseman and then seven forwards. But I have to strictly focus on forwards here because I don't want 81. Who's 81? Why does that number sound really familiar? Patrick Kane? No, he was 88. Who's 81? Who is 81? I actually can't think of this. I'm actually awful when it comes to jersey numbers. Anything that requires me to remember something. 81. Kyle Connor, Jonathan Marcheseau. Who was I thinking of? Was I thinking of someone specific? Eric Chernax here, Dmitry Orlov. I'm, th I'm probably thinking 88 because 88 is Patrick Kane. I know that for a fact. You also have William Needlander here, David Pasternak, Martin Natchez. I was definitely thinking 88 and you also have Vasilevsky. Yeah, but 81, we're going with Kyle Connor. This video has slowly gone from a wheel of jersey numbers to how long can stick on the ice remember something for and the answer is less than 10 seconds. So with our very next spin, we're going to be landing on the jersey number 85. That's not 88 but it's also not 81. Who are we picking up here? So currently there's only three guys in the NHL wearing the jersey number 85 and the best one's going to be Jake Sanderson. He's going to be our final piece to the defense, I guess. Not ideal, but could be way worse, I guess. And with that final pickup for the defense, 83 overall, Jake Sanderson. I can actually live with an 83 overall. For some reason, I was thinking he was going to be like an 81, maybe an 80, but no. Nah, 83 overall, that's valid. So I want 87. I want 97. I want 18. I want 89. 95 could be the move, though. I'm not even going to say this player's name. We already know who I'm going with. No debate here whatsoever. The dude's an absolute beast. Yeah, his overall might not show that. We already know what he can do in this game. Burakovsky, welcome to the team. You're the captain now. Like, you're officially the captain. Before I get into next season, I'm making you the captain. You're the captain over Matthews and Stamkos. You're him. Low-key might have to buy a Burakovsky jersey. If this video gets 2,000 likes, I will buy a Burakovsky jersey. I really hope a Burakovsky jersey is on sale because I do not want to pay regular price. We were also two numbers away from Robert Thomas. Just thought I'd mention that. Of course, I would have preferred 18 because we know that's the number of the GOAT, but hey, I'll set it with 16. Who are we going to get for number 16 here? 
Mitch Marner, Barkov, Joe Pavelski. Yeah, I think I'll go with Mitch Marner. It's actually pretty interesting how we got both Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. Let's try to round it out with William Nylander or Ryan O'Reilly, a St. Louis legend, helped us win a Stanley Cup. I wouldn't complain about picking him up either. We also could have got John Tavares and Samsonov. Yeah, we could have taken basically the entire Toronto Maple Leafs core. But of course, this video is about winning a Stanley Cup, so I don't want Toronto's core. I want to win a Stanley Cup, not fall in the first round. But I guess you guys got to the second round this season, so congrats. Are we really celebrating a second round exit? Like, let's be real here. So when I originally saw this list, I was like, all right, no debate. Sebastian Ajo, he just secured a bag. I want to bring him onto my team. And then I realized it was the other Sebastian Ajo. So I guess we'll have to settle for Jordan Cairo. Minus 38, Jordan Cairo. 73 points, 37 goals, 36 assists. Minus 38, Jordan Cairo. To be fair, the entire team didn't play defense last season, so I can't blame him. No, like real talk, St. Louis did not know the first thing about defense last season. Although there were times when I'm like, all right, you probably should have made that save. Moving on to those negatives from the St. Louis though, we have to think of all the positives this team has. Like Robert Thompson, Connor McDavid, yep. I'm not even I'm not even looking at jersey numbers. Connor McDavid, welcome to the team. Absolute steal for us. Yeah, there's no debate about this. Connor McDavid, welcome to the team. 97 overall, Connor McDavid. 97 on the Edmonton Oilers. Well, he's now 97 on the Chicago Hawks. And he's leading us to a Stanley Cup as the assistant captain. Because we already know Andre Burakovsky is the captain. So we're moving on to our final two spins. What number are we getting here? 77. We're getting Victor. Oh, we can't even get Victor Hedman. Oh, yeah, we don't need defense. Victor Hedman, we can't get Anthony D'Angelo, also known as Tony D'Angelo. We got Frank Vetrano, Kirby Doc, TJ Oshie. TJ Oshie's overall might not be as high as these other guys here, but I got to bring him onto that team. He was one of my favorite players on the St. Louis Blues in his short time there. I guess it wasn't really short time, but it was a long time ago. When was the last time he played for the St. Louis Blues? I want to double check that. It's been a minute to say the least. Yeah, I would have never guessed 2015, but if you think about it, we won the Stanley Cup in 2019 and then TJ Oshie won it the year before in 2018. But yeah, 2015 was the last time he played a game for the St. Louis Blues. It really has been a long time. So with our final spin, we're getting a number basically in the middle, number 50. Who are we going to finish this off with? The so number 50 is the last player we're adding to our team. Honestly, it can be a zero overall for all I care. We got a great team here. We could add the binner. We could have added legendary goaltender Jordan Bennington, but unfortunately, we're going to have to go with Eric Robertson because Sean Dursey's a defenseman. So, Eric Robertson, you're the final piece of the team. So, Eric Robertson, honestly, if your overall is not that great, doesn't really mean too much to me. 79 overall, that's not bad. You'll be on the fourth line, but we built an elite team here. Now, we better win the Stanley Cup and not get disappointed in the first round. So, now that our team's all set, let's go win ourselves a Stanley Cup. I just went and looked up the price of an Andre Burakovsky jersey. Why is this thing almost $300? I mean, Fanatic's branded, yeah, I guess, like, it's the authentic, but 300 bones for this. Okay, no. If I'm buying the Andre Burakovsky jersey, 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes minimum. 300 bones for this. If I can get a cheaper one, I will, but I mean, 300 bones is ridiculous. But I'm also not doing that. 5,000 likes minimum. 250 bones for this jersey and then you include taxes we're pushing 300 bones that's just not happening unless i hit 5,000 likes but even still i might hit 5,000 likes and still not buy it because that's stupid so i know this is really off topic but i've just done a deep dive into the prices of nhl jerseys right now explain to me why there's a mark andre Fleury chicago blackhawks women's jersey for 232 dollars bro played like 30 games for this franchise and you're still selling it for full price i mean granted you can buy this one for 30 bones which is actually a pretty solid deal but 230 dollars for a Marc Andre Fleury Chicago Blackhawks jersey. This is a perfect example of why I don't buy jerseys often. So here's what the Chicago Hawks team's looking like. We got McDavid, Marner, and Kyle Connor on the first line. On the second, Rupe Hintz, Austin Matthews, Steven Stamkos. The bottom six is looking elite. And of course, Burakovsky's gonna be leading them. Defensively, I've got no issues with how this team looks. Ekholm and Ekblad on the first pairing, Latang and Sanderson on the second, and on the third pairing, ideally I wouldn't want Troy Stetcher on this team, but hey. Troy Stetcher and Ryan Ellis, it could be a worse situation. And in between the pipes, we got Allmark and Carter Hart. We're going to win a few games this season. So it's not like I hate going on tangents like this, but I kind of got to talk sometimes. Like $270 for a jersey. Like that's 300 bones once you put the taxes in there. That's stupid. This is why you buy jerseys or shirt jerseys, whatever they're called. I can't remember the exact term for them, but you know what I'm talking about. For 2,000 likes, I would probably buy one of those, but even still, what are those? Probably 60, 70 bucks? Nah, the prices on things are stupid.
So the Chicago Hawks were a pretty solid team this season, finishing 58, 18, and 6, first in the entire league. Offensively, one of the best in the entire league, and defensively, we we're also one of the best. So ideally, we're winning a Stanley Cup. It should be no surprise that 97 is going to be leading the way for us. 47 goals and 58 helpers for 105 points. He's our guy. But where's Burakovsky? Because, I mean, obviously, the second best player on this team. 21 goals, 26 helpers, 47 points. Keep doing your thing, my guy. In between the pipes, of course, Allmark, he's probably having a great season. Yes, he is. 47 wins, 7 shots, a 918 and a 238. Keep Keep doing what you're doing also carter hart you were kind of trash this season i'm just gonna keep it a thousand for our first overall selection you didn't pan out for us moving on to the postseason we should be making quick work of our first matchup as we have the anaheim ducks the current day anaheim ducks also arizona somehow made the playoffs i don't know how that happened but yeah let's make quick work of anaheim the past few simulations i've done it really makes no sense that the anaheim ducks and arizona coyotes are playing as well as they have been we're taking Anaheim down in five games. Arizona, they're also falling in five games. But how are these teams performing so well with the current rosters? And when I say current rosters, I mean last season's rosters, not after the offseason moves. So yeah, Arizona and Anaheim, the exact same teams as what they were last season. And somehow they're succeeding. And now we have the Minnesota Wild. They took down the Colorado Avalanche, I believe. This is going to be a tougher matchup for us. Ideally, though, we make quick work of Arizona, and that's exactly what's happening. We're taking them down five games, and we have a chance of taking on the Seattle Kraken in the conference finals. I would love to take on Seattle because that means we're going to have a Burakovsky versus Burakovsky matchup. It'd be an absolutely elite matchup, to say the least. But instead, we're going to have the Calgary Flames. Also, over in the Eastern Conference, I think it's Toronto and Tampa. Just thought I'd keep you guys updated there. Now we got Calgary. Quick work of Calgary. Not messing around philly wait 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 philly's here how the philadelphia flyers make the stanley cup final oh toronto swept tampa and then philly swept the new jersey devils philly's taking down toronto in the conference finals and now we have the philadelphia flyers do not lose to philly of all teams your starting goaltender is our backup do not lose to the philadelphia flyers a clean sweep against the flyers that makes a lot of sense no but seriously how did the philadelphia flyers make it all the way to the stanley cup final we also went 16 and 2 in the postseason i gotta take a quick look at all marks numbers because he was putting in work also show to austin matthews he's leading us in postseason points seven goals 14 assists 21 points keep doing your thing but all mark 16 wins three shutouts a 943 and a 165 we couldn't have done it without you you were him but 260 bones us that's how i'm finishing this video we're gonna look at this jersey and that's how i'm gonna finish this video 260 bones